Hello, I have good news for everybody who has a mixer with start buttons and can't start the record player with it. I designed a very easy to build circuitry to solve this problem. First I demonstrate you what is happening when you connect the mixer start button to the remote of the record player. This is not what you want. Now you see in between the cable my circuitry and look what's happening. We start building. First I show you the two components the circuitry basically exists of. A resistor of 4700 ohms and a two-step sequencer. The sequencer you can buy by Conrad.com. I didn't find it anywhere else, sorry. Next you see what you need more to connect it to the mixer and the remote of the record player. That are a screw terminal and a guitar wire or a patch wire. It already, yeah, how far is your record player from the mixer? A keto cable is normally longer than an ordinary patch cable, but it works with both. Then you need the tools scissors, screwdriver, small screwdriver, and a kitchen knife. I will now demonstrate you how to build it. First use something, use something hard under it because you can damage your table or desk. First we start with cutting two screw terminals you can use to connect the two green wires of the sequencer. You see it's very easy to do, no problem at all. The next step is to cut three screw terminals of the block of 12. Yeah, you can only buy them with a block of 12, so you, you have to, if, if you don't have them in your waste basket, you have to uh, put it in. The red wire on top. Then the yellow wire in the middle and the black one at the last terminal. The next step will be the resistor and we connect the resistor to the red and the yellow wire. First you measuring a little so it fits in easily and then you cut the long pieces off with your old pair of scissors I hope because sometimes after this action you can't use them to cut any paper anymore. You put the resistor in, you can use any resistor you want, small ones, big ones, doesn't matter if it is only 4700 ohms. You only tighten the yellow terminal block because we need it for something else. You see, now we are cutting the guitar wire. I use guitar wire but you can also use patch wire, there's no problem if it is just the, the, the right connection between your mixer. Now we are peeling off the wire, the first part. You see I cut it but don't harm the wires below. We are now peeling off the first isolation and then you see you get the shield of the wire. You put it together very tight 
so it fits in the terminal block and now the inner wire the isolation of this mostly very difficult the, the most of the of this uh, knives are not sharp enough to do this but when they are too sharp you cut it totally off and that's not what you want now I'm measuring a little and then I cut off the shield because it, then it is not possible it makes any contact with the resistor so we put in the inner wire to the red one don't mix it because it doesn't work at all and then you see you can't see it because my fingers are on it you screw the shield to the black one ready now the other part of the wire so you see I, I skipped this part because this is just the same as the first so here you see it is already nearly ready and then we put it to the and, and mind the inner wire to the lower green and the shield to the upper green don't mix it up it will work in some cases but sometimes it doesn't work only once and that's not what you like so the secretary is ready you see in a few minutes put it in a bag because otherwise it can maybe if you put it behind your record player it can make contact with other parts so I connect it between and you see here's the final test with the record from the Hollies and I demonstrate to you how it works there it starts okay Hopefully you like it and you build it and you will see you can use your start button and start stop button of your record player. Thank you for viewing this video.